What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back! In today's video we are checking out the latest 3-axis gimbal from Hoham called the iSteady M6. So this is a gimbal for smartphones and in many ways this is one of the most exciting pieces of tech that I got to try over the past couple of years. I've actually been waiting for a gimbal like this for quite some time. So you're probably gonna wonder, why is this gimbal so special? What does it do that other gimbals don't do? Well, this one does AI tracking a bit different than all the other gimbals available on the market because a lot of gimbals available on the market do have AI tracking. But for most of them, or well, for all of them really that I know of, um, you do have to install the gimbals app on your smartphone and that kind of becomes a camera app on your smartphone and that's how the gimbal does AI tracking. Well, this one does it very differently. So this one does AI tracking with this unit that we have at the top of the gimbal here. So with this AI tracking unit, you don't necessarily need to install the gimbal's camera app in order to do the AI tracking. So this right here does the tracking for you. And that's very important, mostly if you have a flagship phone like an iPhone, for example, or the Samsung Galaxy S23 that I'm using on the gimbal right now. I mean, if you don't have a flagship phone that has exceptional video quality, using the gimbal's camera app could actually improve the video quality in many situations. And of course, this gimbal also has a camera app and you can use that app with it as well. But for these kind of phones that have exceptional video capabilities, using that gimbal's camera app is not ideal. At least in my line of work, I want to use the iPhone's native camera app because I feel that it records videos better. The footage is crispier, the video looks better. So this is where this gimbal comes super handy because we can use the phone's camera app, the native camera app, and then you can have the AI tracking on top of that. And I feel that this is a winning combination. I've already used this gimbal and the AI tracking features for three of my videos, and I feel that this has the potential of replacing a cameraman. Now, a lot of people don't have the second person to help them on film. So you typically have a tripod and the camera on top of that tripod. Well, imagine for a second you have this gimbal and the phone on top of that tripod and this way you're gonna have your videos more dynamic because the gimbal will track you when you go to the left, when you go to the right, when you go up, down and so on. So when I'm filming um, bike um, videos or scooter videos, this comes in super, super um, handy. And not only for those videos, but for a lot of um, the videos that I make um, outdoors basically. So having a setup like this that does AI tracking as good as this um, device here will take your videos to the next level. So the AI tracking unit that we have at the top of the gimbal here um, can also be pointing this way or um, you can spin it around and it can point um, the opposite way. So it really depends if you're filming with the rear cameras or the front facing camera on um, your device. Now, personally, I film with the rear cameras on any device because the rear cameras will give you the better video quality. So in my case, the AI tracking unit is always positioned this way. This also can be controlled with gestures. So when you're outside, you have the gimbal on, you can make a gesture and then um, the AI will start tracking you and then you can make another gesture and it will stop tracking you. And you can also frame your shots um, with another gesture. So that AI unit can be controlled um, with gestures. And guess what? This can also be used as a video light. So on the side of the gimbal here, we have a wheel, but if you hold that press for about um, three seconds or so, the light comes on. And if you spin this, you can make this dimmer or brighter. If you click this button three times, you can also change colors on this light. So not only this is the AI tracking unit, it's also a video light. So that could come in handy if you want a different color for your videos, if you need a bit um, more light. So for example, you're filming yourself, a bit more light on your face could always come in handy. So this is why this gimbal is so special. And I totally forgot to do a bit of an unboxing. So the gimbal comes in this box um, right here. It is a fairly big box. Inside the box, we are also gonna get this um, carrying pouch. This comes in super handy so you can keep the gimbal in your um, backpack. Inside here, you'll also find um, a couple of cables so you can charge um, the gimbal. The charging port is on this side um, right here. Now on one charge, the manufacturer says that you're gonna get about 18 hours. 
I've never actually got to charge the gimbal, so I've been using it for a few days now and just it doesn't want to die, so I truly believe that it will last for um, 18 hours. So you can keep it on and on and on and on and on. So you're gonna find the cable so you can charge this. Um, there is also a cable so you can charge your phone. Now it depends if you're using an Android device or um, an iPhone. If you do use an iPhone, you do have to buy an additional cable if you wanna charge um, the phone from the gimbal. So there is a charge port here and you can basically have the phone plugged into the gimbal. So this way your battery is not gonna die. And it also has a cool feature that the charging only starts when you want it to start. So it's not always charging. That's a smart feature because as you know, when you're filming phones do get pretty hot. And if you're charging them at the same time, they will get even hotter. So you can start and stop the charging of the device whenever you want. And I find that, that um, that's a super smart um, feature as well. Aside from that, you're gonna find the user manual. Definitely check out the user manual because there is a lot of information. This gimbal can do a lot of things. I always kind of have to look through the manual um, to figure out how to do something on it. So definitely check out um, this. And you can also buy um, this remote control for the gimbal. So check this out. Let me spin it around. So you can have this little um, remote control in your um, pocket, for example, and you can control the gimbal um, from it. Super handy, mostly if you're filming in front um, of the gimbal, you don't have to go to the gimbal every time and move that little joystick um, there or change modes or something like that. So this remote control will come in handy as well. Taking a look at the gimbal itself, well, it is extremely well made. It feels like a very expensive unit, even though it's not actually that um, expensive. So of course we have a combination of plastic, some rubberized plastic, some uh, metal. At the bottom here, we have a quarter inch um, screw hole. There is actually this little tripod that comes in the box and we have another um, screw hole on the side here. So you can mount this on tripods in different ways. Personally, I just um, use it at the bottom there, but um, there are more um, possibilities, I'm gonna say. So on the back here, we have a little screen. From the screen, you can see how um, much battery you have. You can see if you have a device connected, you can change a bunch of things from there so you can change modes. Now, like most gimbals, this has all the following mods that um, we are used to and we've seen for other gimbals. And this one also has a new 360 inception mode. Now, I haven't really found a use for this in my line of work, but I can see that being handy in some situations as well. So, yes, the gimbal is extremely, extremely well made. I also like this wheel that we have on the side here. So if you're using the Gimbal's app, this um, wheel here can, use the, can be used for focusing. So you can focus closer or further. Again, that's a feature that I haven't actually seen on um, other Gimbal's. So that could come in handy, mostly if you don't want um, the Gimbal to like switch focus from one subject to another, you want it focused on something, that wheel will definitely come in um, handy. We also have a couple of buttons on the side here. So these are used for time lapses. Now you don't have to go into an app um, so you can start the time lapse. You can kind of set the time lapse right from those buttons and you don't have to do anything. You just press record on your phone and um, you are set. So those could come in handy as well. And of course, um, on the back here, we have another button and this has a bunch of functionality as well. The gimbal can also be used in landscape mode. So like this, or you can spin it around and then you can use it in portrait mode. So if you're filming videos for YouTube shorts or Instagram videos, you can use it like this. But if you wanna switch to the regular mode, of course you can do that um, as well. Okay, so I also wanna show you the Hoham Joy um, app um, very quick, just so you can see how how it looks. So of course, if you are using the app, you do have more functionality with the buttons on the gimbal. So for example, from this wheel that I mentioned earlier, you can focus. So you can focus on closer subjects, on further subjects. So if you want fixed focus, you can use that wheel. Then you can zoom in with another button on the front of the gimbal. So that could also come in handy. 
And of course, we do have a variety of modes um, available here. So the maximum recording resolution, at least for my iPhone, um, is 4K at 60 frames per second. So we can select 4K and 60 frames per second. That is actually the maximum recording resolution for um, this iPhone. That may be different on other um, devices, but I've only used the app with my iPhone, so I can only talk about um, that. We also have a variety of modes here. So that's uh, the video mode. We also have a photo mode. We have a moment uh, mode. Now I cannot go through every single feature because this video will become way um, too long. But yes, there are a lot, a lot of features um, in the app here. So as I said, if you don't really care if you're using um, the native um, camera app on whatever device um, you are using, using this app, so the Hoham Joy app, will give you more functionality with the buttons that we have on the gimbal. So you can easily start recordings like this. You don't actually have to touch a button on the phone. So that is an advantage using the gimbal's app compared to the camera app on your smartphone. Okay, and we are going back to our gimbal for a bit. So the maximum weight the gimbal will be able to handle is 400 grams. So most smartphones these days, you're gonna be able to use them with this gimbal unless you have some super heavy rugged um, phone because those are over 400 grams. But most iPhones, Xiaomi phones, Samsung phones, etc., you'll be able to use with this, no problem. So like most gimbals that we've been seeing over the past um, few years, we do have um, the same following um, functionality. So we have like pan follow, pan and tilt follow, all lock, all follow. And there is also a sport mode for this one. So if you hold this button press, so let's say that your subject starts running or you're starting to run, hold this button pressed and the gimbal will go into a sport mode. Now with most phones these days, well some phones these days, we also have um, ultra wide cameras on the back. So this setup here, a part of the gimbal may show up in your video depending how wide um, that um, lens is. So if you click this button four times here, it goes into an ultra wide shot. So let's um, do that. So let me spin this around. So see how now there is nothing in front of the camera. In the other mode, we have a part of the gimbal in front of the camera. So that's the ultra wide shot, just in case you're wondering. And of course, there are many other features that I didn't even mention, but I don't wanna make this video an hour long. Definitely check out the user manual and you're gonna find a lot of features in there and how to control everything about the gimbal. But for me personally, the most exciting feature and the feature that I love the most about this gimbal is definitely the AI tracking feature because I wanna be able to use the iPhone's camera app whenever I'm filming my videos. I don't wanna go into a different app for that. And the AI tracking here works extremely, extremely well. So this is definitely my all time favorite um, smartphone gimbal. I don't think there is any other one that um, does what um, this one does. All right guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.